It kills me to see you like this, Mkul. Even at school, I can't even concentrate. I'm always thinking about you. And <coughs> <coughs> don't worry about me. How can I not worry about you, Mkul? You don't eat, you don't even drink water. I can't lose you too, Mkul. Who's going to take care of me? Who's going to teach me the Bible? Life and... Don't cry, Ndotan. <clears throat> I won't leave you. I'm not going to die. Let's make a deal. A deal? <coughs> yes. Promise me you will say yes. Yes to, to what, Ndotan? Ukulumangan. Okay. Here's the deal. You sick, right? So, I want to die with you. Die? Yes, I'm cool. When you feel like death is coming, or you feel like you are about to die, just call me and we will die together. We will negotiate with God. I am sure you will understand. You can't die and leave me behind, here alone. <laughs> that is impossible. <clears throat> you just made my day. <laughs> but remember, whatever happens to me, I love you, Mfanawam. And God loves you too. You have been through a lot. But remember, tough times and tough situations always prepare an ordinary person for an extraordinary destination. God has a bigger plan for you. But God has a weird way of showing his love then. All this pain and tears. I lost mom when Amanda you sick. There's no food here at all. This is too much, Mkul. Does God have WhatsApp? I'm sure he does, Mkul. I want to talk to him, man to man. <laughs> Mkul, are you okay? Should I call Madlamin? Mkul! Dotan, <clears throat> I'm. Don't worry. Uh, and no, do, don't call Matlamin. You scared me. I thought you were dying. No, Dotan. It's just that I have this sharp pain here in my chest. Hey, 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 hey. My daughter. Uh, but I will be fine. As I was saying, hardships and hard situations often prepare ordinary people for an extra ordinary destination. God is preparing you for something greater and I can see through your eyes. You're going far, Ndotan. Death is something we cannot run away from. <clears throat> but death on its own is the greatest gift life has ever given to us. Death was designed to always remind us that we are not here forever. And all of us have limited time, meaning one must find his purpose in life and work hard every day and try to fulfill that, pro that purpose. Wow. And the living closed the eyes of the dead and the dead opened the eyes of the living. <laughs> There's a lesson in everything in total. That played a huge role for us to be here today in this country. People during the struggle lost their lives. During those hard days in Dotan, black people here in Soweto and around the country were dying like flies. 
We kept closing the eyes of the dead every week. Their death opened our eyes and we knew it was time to fight back. We knew it was time to stand up. Like Steve Biko said, we were tired of standing on the sidelines. We knew it was time to be part of the game. Now you were fighting in Kul. Hey, hey, Dotan. I was a pastor during those days. And yes, I also fought for our liberation. Wait, let me guess. You were a pastor with swag. You were turning up every day, every day, right? Swag? Turn up? In Manjale. Oops, never mind him, cool. You can continue. Hashtag awkward. Hey, 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 wait, 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 Dotan. We are Kuluma and Bella, Manji. Usuazi no awkward. I do want to walk me. As I was saying, even when you were walking around the streets of Soweto, you could even smell and touch the pain in the air. God gave us power. He gave us strength to fight apartheid. Eh, Ndotan, those days, why were the whites doing this to black people in Kul? And what does apartheid mean? The word is on its own, J. Sounds weird. Uh, apartheid is an Afrikaans word meaning the state of being apart. It was a system of racial segregation in South Africa enforced through legislation by the National Party government the ruling party from 1948 to 1994. Under apartheid, the rights, associations, and movement of the majority, black inhabitants, and other ethnic groups, you were curtailed. An Africana minority was maintained. Apartheid was developed after World War II by the Africana domination national party and through the bond organizations. Apartheid as an officially structured policy was introduced after the general election of 1948. Legislation classified inhabitants into four racial groups, black, white, colored, and Indian. The last two of which were divided into several subclassifications and residential areas were segregated from 1960 to 1983. Apartheid sparked significant internal resistance and violence. And a long arm and trade embargo against South Africa since the 50s, a series of popular uprisings and the protest was met with burnings and oppositions and imprisoning of anti-apartheid leaders. As unrest spread and became more effective and militarized, 
state organizations responded with repression and violence. Along with the sanctions placed on South Africa by the international community, this made it increasingly difficult for the government to maintain the regime. Apartheid reforms in 1980s failed to quell the mounting opposition. And in 1990, President Frederick Willem de Klerk began negotiations to end apartheid, culminating in multiracial democratic elections in 1994. De Klerk began the process of dismantling apartheid with the release of Mandela and several other political prisoners And at the end of a bad date, is wisely regarded as a rising of 1994 Democratic General Elections, won by the African National Congress under Umandela. Amanda!